Hi guys, welcome back, Dr. Nina. So here we've got today Nicola, we're going to do her lips. So she never had any lip injections, any lip filler done previously, um, which is great, so the first time, are you excited? Mm -hmm. Yes. She suffers from really dry lips all the time, every season. So the lip injection, the hyaluronic acid contained in the filler would be great to help with that. Also, she's not really happy with the shape of her lips and especially with the fact that when she smiles, she feels her lips disappear. So the lip filler will be great. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to reshape her lips nicely. I'm going to keep the anatomy. I'm gonna respect that, which is the secret in delivering very natural results. But I'm going to increase the volume of the upper and lower lip, especially in her upper lip, okay? My filler of choice today for her lips is the Juvederm Volbella. I'm going to be injecting one mil of filler, so I'm gonna use the all syringe. And I'm also going to be injecting using cannula. So in the lips, you can either use needle or cannula. I sometimes use a combination of both, and actually I might use both because the cannula is great and safer in creating volume in the actual body of the lips whether the needle is more precise. So I might use a combination of the two. I'm gonna use the needle just to define a little bit how cupid bow. Tiny shell scratch, that's it. Okay, so just a gentle pressure. That's good. Well done. I just finished to inject Nicola's lip. I use a combination of needle and cannula technique. I injected one mil of Juvederm Volbella. As you can see, the swelling with the lips is normally instant. The worst swelling normally lasts for the first 72 hours. Bruising can also be absolutely normal for the first week or so. So what I normally recommend as aftercare is to apply some ice packs on the lips in case you feel the lips are getting, getting really swollen. I normally recommend to use frozen peas because they can really mold nicely to the lips. What I can also recommend is perhaps to take an anti-inflammatory if you do have a home and stay away from any sauna, steam room or, or heat.
Hold the mirror for me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, they look great. Thank you. So they, they are obviously a bit swollen. The mm -hmm. swelling goes on in the next couple of days. So the final result would be seen in about two weeks time, yeah? Okay. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, you found it useful. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to comment below. I'll do my best to answer you all. And don't forget to also subscribe my channel.